Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Makia FX, and here is our JBP USD charts. So, if you're following our videos and if you're watching our channel, then you probably know about this zone which I drew previously. And I told you guys that when this zone is broken, we may likely see this pair go bearish. And after we saw this very strong double top in the high time frame form, we saw that when price could not break past this level again, it started going bearish. And that's what we have been seeing right now. So yesterday, you know, I think last week, when we had the bank interest rates, that was the BOE being released, we saw how the this pair fell. It fell for quite a while and it has been falling ever since then. If you guys know, I told you guys that I'll be studying the ICT concepts and I'm going to apply it in my videos, upcoming videos. And this is exactly what I'm talking about right now. The first thing I want you guys to know is that this is the fair value gap that was being formed. This is the low and this is the high. This, this low and high was not taken. So it formed a fair value gap and we saw how this fair value gap was being respected here. And when prices came and moved up to this area, prices fell back down. Don't forget the overall trend is still bearish. You know this channel was broken and it's forming lower lows lower highs if you know what i'm saying so we're in a bearish trend right now we should not forget that so this fair value gap was being respected and also we can actually see the sell side liquidity that was being taken here and also this is we have another sell side liquidity around this area if you go to a lower time frame but anyways we can see that this buy side liquidity was taken by so what are we thinking right now for this particular pair gbp usd i believe that the pair is still going bearish this is what I'll call a support zone. When prices come to this area, we're likely going to see it to move to the upside. And this is what I'll call a resistance zone. But don't forget, we're in a bearish trend. And whenever we're in a bearish trend, we should tend to take advantage of small moves. Like right now, if you are just bought, you will make some few profits, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, we should take advantage of small moves to the upside. We close our, our positions. Then when prices come and reach our main resistance area, we sell. So because we are still in a bearish trend, I think it's more preferable if you're selling around this area. You're selling around this area where I just drew the, the line red. This is a very good area for you to be selling. And if you want to buy for a short term entry, just a short term, let's say 10 pips, 15 pips, you can buy around this particular area. As of now, we are trading between this range, but the trend is still bearish. And for those who are selling, it's more advantageous to them than those that are buying this particular pair until we see a reverse in trend until we see a trend reversal we cannot just conclude that this trend is going to the bullish direction before the end of the day or oh, it depends on how price reacts to this channel don't forget if a channel is broken we may now look to see if we, could, if we can have a double top formation or a double if the channel is broken, then we can see if we're having a double bottom formation for us to be sure of our bullish direction or if we have an engulfing candles and other stuff like that. But as of now, this pair, even though we're at a support area, this pair is still going to be going bearish. Hopefully during the New York session, we're going to see it fall further. So that's pretty much analysis for the day. For those who are trying to buy this pair, you should look for resistance area. For those who are trying to buy this pair, you should look for support support areas in the five minutes time frame 15 minutes time frame make your few profits and leave the market for those who are selling wait for the resistance areas these areas that have reacted like these areas we are seeing weeks yes when prices come to this resistance area you wait and see the kind of that form at that area then we can now go in for a short sell so guys if you want to join our group on telegram where we do share free signals insights and other things i'll leave the links in the description and you want to join our preferred broker also we have a premium group if you want to join our premium group you can always hit me up on io makia forex on telegram so with that said what do you think about this video thanks for watching bye